Cora will be this ex-husband, Justin Dean, as Lang Nigerians will support his ex-wife, Cora Obide. This actually comes after Cora started a GoFundMe to raise funds to fight his ex-husband legally after he reached out to Meta to take down her Facebook videos that have their kids in them and to prevent her from ever posting their kids. Justin said that he is in touch with Facebook and any content Cora posts with their kids in it would be taken down. He admitted he posts his kids online, but he said that doesn't make him a hypocrite because the videos are age appropriate and it doesn't twerk in them, unlike Cora's videos. He denied Cora's claim that their daughter's private part was photographed by a nanny and the photo was shared on a group. He further maintained that he would never allow his daughters to be posted online by Cora again because her followers, especially the Nigerians, are toxic. In his words, he shared and I quote, for those of you not listening, my daughters have had nudity exposed on five separate occasions, one of which included Zoom. He said, I will likely never ever allow my kids to be back on social media again because you all are toxic. You guys aren't good for them. Nigerians, I'm talking to you most, uh, mostly. This all women supporting women movement. Even when the woman is wrong, you guys are the problem with society nowadays. When you don't support people that are right. I mean, how many lies are being said on social media on a daily basis that you guys are seeing and you continue to support lies? That's a problem. That's how you get corrupt government. That's how you get corruption in every level of society because you see things that are wrong and you support it all anyways. All of you guys that don't like me, all you guys think that I'm somehow whatever the hell this label me. You can go to places. You guys are not educated. You don't have thoughts. You are not sentient. Women that have critical thinking skills. I do not care what you think or say about me. Meanwhile, Kura Obidi's school for me has raised more than $46,000. Remember that just yesterday, the mother of two and Justin Dean's ex-wife took to social media to complain about the excessive legal bills she would have to pay to fight her ex-husband. She had also appealed for financial assistance on social media, setting up a GoFundMe page to cover the legal bills. Cora Obidi has already raised almost $46,000 in just 24 hours since starting this GoFundMe campaign with an initial goal of $100,000. Recently, she took to social media to express her joy and gratitude for these donations. She also continued to solicit help, completing the payment. It's all matter, and this all matter has caused lots of reactions on social media space, as so many people were actually asking the question, if truly this donation is for the right cause. Why many people believed Kura Obidi is fighting for a good cause? So many people are of the opinion that Kura Obidi's cause is actually baseless. Because uh, it's about involving my daughter's privacy. And I'm a father and I will continue to fight for what's best for them. Freaking what? How is this okay in America? How is this okay for a woman to go in your house, take videos and pictures of my children and you're covering for her? So guys, many people have reacted differently about this matter. Some, in their opinion, believe that Justin Dean is just, you know, crying out, you know, out of depression unnecessarily. That this set of people believe that Cora Abidi, you know, after traveling to America, 
automatically adjust to the way of people living in america and so she's not meant to be blamed since when things were good between these two of these people the husband wasn't complaining about the way she was dressing about the way she was dancing on social media but now that things turn sour he took it upon himself to start complaining about how she does her dance about her way of doing things guys this set of people believe that justin Dean is just being hypocritical yeah so guys i'm mixing people we also have some other people who believe that coral bd is actually doing too much as a dancing you know is almost as if she's dancing almost you know without clothes on this set of people believe that they are this set of people actually agree with justin Dean that some of the content that Coral BD is showing out there is actually not good for children to see. Guys, let me quickly take you to some of the comments that were generated by social media users. Doom says sponsors would only do what they are meant to do, sponsor immoralities and destruction of humanity. Another shared, see nonsense, donate for senseless cause, this generation no get sense at all. We need money to establish ourselves and people are contributing money to support evil. In normal sense, Cora no supposed to be with those kids because I don't know what they will learn from her. She have absolutely nothing to offer those kids, apart from indecency, lies, and fake life. Another shared, there are many of our kind out there, so they needed to support their person. It's only fools that will donate such amount to your cause, waiting concerns sensible people. You loved and married her for a profession, so why suddenly not proud of it again? You are just too... Mr. Justin Dean, you are right in all you have said, but you started this by allowing Coral BD to be twerking in the first place, even as your wife. You were go marry stripper. What did you expect? You are worse than toxic, bro. You got married to a stripper thinking she would let go of her business. So automatically, you are for getting married to a stripper. You too, you are uneducated, including your country. Is it not an illiterate or an educator like you that married your like? Your country is good, yet you left it and come to Nigeria to marry because you are looking for a woman to treat as piece of trash. Since you know you can't do such with the untamed women of your country, but when the woman becomes smarter than you, you are boiling in bitterness. Whatever you call Nigeria is your opinion, but you will wake every day to deal with the fact that saying Nigeria is your worst nightmare. How about that, Dean? Another shared, if, another shared, if the father or mother of children don't want their children on social media, so be it. Children are not adults to make that decision themselves. And perhaps when they become adults, they might wish they were never showcased on social media. Amazing people, kindly share your thoughts with us in the comment section about this particular matter. Meanwhile, people continue to donate to Kura Obidi concerning this course. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and bye for now.